Hello, online crew. Let's talk about Black Friday. Now, whether you're promoting anything or not for Black Friday, I still want you to stick around because there's a bigger message here for everybody that's building a business online, not only those that might be taking advantage of Black Friday's promotions and specials and stuff like that. So I am going to hone in a little bit on Black Friday, but if you're not promoting anything for Black Friday, that's not your business model, still listen up because there's a very valuable message underlying for anybody building a business online. Okay, so as you are coming in, please say hello. It is Helen Martin here. It's a dead giveaway because it's right there. And I am your online crew captain. So my role here is that I am at service to you guys in this online crew community. So that's entrepreneurs, home-based business owners, direct sellers, network marketers, those in MLM, all of the above, anybody with a small business working from home. And what we're doing here is learning, well, I guess modern social media strategies to build your business online because none of us want to convince anybody to buy anything off us. We truly want to attract people to us online and we want people to get curious about what it is that we do and reach out to us and ask us and attract people to us about our business so you can build your own tribe, your own following and have a thriving business. So that's what we're here to do. So who have we got here on live before we get into our Black Friday discussion? Black Friday is really, really intriguing to me because we don't celebrate it here in Australia, but we certainly are subject to it. And even Australian companies jump on Black Friday because it's such a big sales um you know, thing, isn't it? I mean, Black Friday means different things to different people. Some people it might be that they're working their ass off, like they're just, you know, they're in the, you know, in retail or in sales in some way and they're just working, working, working. Some people it might be you've got to get to the shops and trample through everyone for that discount on TV. Um, you know, a lot of people in our industry, hopefully you're sitting down and celebrating with your family because you're making sales online while you're having a good time. So Black Friday can mean many different things. And to some people, it doesn't mean anything. So, um, you know, so this video, although I'm talking about Black Friday, there is an underlying message for everybody in this industry. OK, so who is on? We've got Patricia. Good morning, Patricia. How are you? Matthew is on. Brand new life member of the online crew coaching community. So congratulations, Matthew, and welcome to the coaching community. Awesome to see you on. We've got Mel, who's also a life member of the coaching community. You can tell by the little angle there if you're not sure what's going on with all these emojis the palm tree is our mascot for our community here um for obvious reasons because <laughs> we're cruising guys we're holidaying and we want to get on a cruise where's my little cruise ship we're going to get on a cruise ship one day and have palm trees around us and have a very good time who's in for that i'll be sipping my uh, margaritas or my gin and tonic or my bourbon and dry one of the above um and the fish is for our free facebook group which i'm also live streaming in so i'm live streaming on my business page as well as my free group social media strategies for home business owners so hello wherever you are watching and the anchor is because Mel is an awesome life member of my online crew coaching community. Gloria is on. How are you, Gloria? Gloria is also a new member to the coaching community, which is fabulous. Edith, how are you? Also in the coaching community. It just goes on. We've got Lena. We've got Dal. We've got Jay. How are you all going today? Um, got it. Yay. Susan. We've got Abby. We've got Heather. Heather's acknowledged Henry. Henry's my little mate here. He's my little messenger bot that looks after you guys. So when I plug him in, <laughs> otherwise he just guards our, um, our little uh, palm cove here. Hello, Andrew. How are you? How are you going? How are you going with the video challenge, guys? Those of you that are participating in the video challenge, we're a couple of days in, a few days in. How are you going with it? Are you loving it so far? Hi, Ima. How are you? Good to see you on uh, yes, congratulations and welcome, Matthew. Awesome. Susan is in. Love it. We'll go on the next one you go on. The cruise, you're all coming on the cruise? Absolutely. We're going to make that happen. Absolutely. Hello, Mel. Judy and Bob are there as well. Mudslides for you. Okay. <laughs> if anyone appears like this and you know you've said hello to me, 
This is because you're watching from my group. So, and you have to give StreamYard, which is the piece of software that I'm using to do this live and do all this fancy stuff. You need to give StreamYard permission for me to see your profile. So just at the end of my description above, there's some little words there that says, um, you know, Facebook forward slash StreamYard or the other way around. And you just got to click on that link and give us permission to, um, you know, see who you are. Susan, absolutely loving the challenge. Awesome, awesome. So awesome to those, those of you that are participating in the uh, video challenge. And it has so many more benefits than you guys even realise, which plays into what I'm going to talk about today with Black Friday. So Black Friday never ceases to amaze me because everybody seems to get on the bandwagon with specials if you've got products to promote. Some of you will be in a business model where this is not relevant. Some of you will be in like a health and wellness company or something and the company comes out with all these specials and they even do all the graphics or a little brochure for you or whatever and you plaster it out on social media. OK, so one of the biggest mistakes that people in this industry need to understand is that just becomes all about price. It's really all Black Friday is. It's about discounts. It's about sales. And that's a good thing if you get a bargain and all the rest of it. But what you've got to realize in this particular industry, it actually cheapens everything and it doesn't make you stand out from the crowd. You're just flowing with everyone else with this whole sell mentality. Now, if you, if it's your product, like you've got a bricks and mortar business, or you've got a reputation with a company that's not network marketing, it can work very well, very well. What I want to try to establish here is the difference between the industry that we're in and the industry, you know, all the other industries where it's not that you're an ambassador or a distributor or a um, business owner or online business owner that is connected to another business. It's not your business. It's somebody else's business where they give you the rights to become a distributor, an ambassador, a business owner, whatever. We need to treat it differently because one of the things we get criticised for in this industry and what turns people off in this industry is the push. My products are the best, my company's the best, this and that, whatever. You put pictures up about your company, about your products. People go and Google them. They find out they're from a network marketing business type model. I don't want to be involved in something like that, okay? Now, when we jump in this industry, when we jump on Black Friday specials and just push them out in our news feed and in our Facebook stories and email them wherever you want to put them, but no one really has a level of awareness about your business, it destroys all the goodwill that you may have done by building value on, you know, business page. Because I bet the company name is in those pictures and those promos and it's really all about price. It's not about value. It doesn't work in this industry. It cheapens all the products. It gives away that secret again about what your company is and then people can go and Google it. And people are still not getting the benefit of what your products do, it's all become about price. So in this particular business model, it doesn't make you stand out from anybody else in that company. You've all got the same pictures, you're all promoting the same discounts, there is no determining factor or any kind of influence on your behalf because you just succumb to what everybody else is doing. In other businesses, it works really well and they can make a lot of sales on Black Friday. But what I would encourage you to do is not fall into that mistake for this industry, especially of those of you in health and wellness, and just hone in on price. There may be products, awesome products, that people don't know about yet, comes out as a Black Friday special and you push it out in your newsfeed. How do people even learn about the product? You've just put it up with a discounted price, but they still don't know what the product does. They still don't know the benefits of the product. It's completely cheapening the products of your company when you just focus on price. Does this make sense, guys? So that's the, um, you know, that's the, the overarching issue for people in this industry. Now, I want to talk about even those of you that are not promoting on uh, Black Friday, still understanding that concept of not focusing on price. Why do people buy? Why do people put their hand in their pocket and join you in your business, sign on the dotted line, give you their credit card details, become an ambassador or a business builder or a distributor, whatever you want to call it in your company. It's they're buying into the future. 
They're buying into what they think this thing can do from them. Whatever your business model is, whether you've got products behind your business model or not, people will join you in your business because of what they see the business will do for them. They're buying the future, basically. They see a vision of what your business can do for them and that's what they're buying into. So it's the value of going into your business with you or the products even, but you don't have to mention the name of the products. We need to concentrate on the value and the benefits of what your things do. Otherwise, you just fall into the category with everyone else and you've got the same promotions as everyone else in your company. What makes you stand out? So this comes back to the same old boring stuff that I always harp on is about building you, you ink. So it's you on social media. It's building your brand. And what value can you bring to the table and how can you attract people to you and how do you become an influencer on social media and how do you draw people in to buy? You draw people in to buy when they see the value of what it is that you have. It's not slicing and dicing. It's not a $20 off. People still might not know anything about your products. Then you push out on social media all these company promotions it's still just, it's still, you're still striving for the sale. People see straight through that. All you want is the sale. But it's different for you and me because it's us as individuals that benefit. It's not a company as a whole. You don't own the company. It's not yours to make decisions about or promote. You're just an independent distributor or ambassador or business owner or online business owner. It's not yours to discount really. They've discounted it. You're just the messenger. But if that's what you rely on and you get caught up in this sell mentality, it just cheapens our industry more than it already can be perceived. Does this make sense? Because what we want you guys to do is build value, 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 and focus on the benefits, 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 and draw people in that way. If it happens to be cheaper at a particular time of year, uh, like Black Friday or Christmas time or whatever it is, awesome. There's an added benefit, not just cheapening the, the sell. Okay, we've got to stay away from just the sell in this industry because it's not your business. At the end of the day, they allow, you know, people tell you, oh, it's your own business. You grow your own business. But if the company goes down, so does you. It's not really yours to control. You just have a little arm of it um, that, that you build. Okay. So um, I'm presuming people can hear me. Tash is saying, is it just me? I can't hear anything. If you can't hear anything, just get out and come back in. Okay. Uh, Mel, just you. Yeah, absolutely. So Matthew's a little bit different. He owns his own company. So you might have Black Friday specials, but they're unique to you. You don't have an army of distributors or ambassadors or that, that are promoting the same kind of thing. So it's, it's different. Uh, makes sense, making sense. And it is all about integrity. Okay. Um, and it's what, what we want to shift this mentality about selling for the industry as a whole. You don't want to get people into your business. You don't want to just make the sale. You want to help people get a result. When people see that your thing, your company, your business model, whatever it is, can help them get a result, they can see a brighter future for themselves, whether that's product-based like nicer looking skin or losing weight or earning more money online, you know, whatever it is for you. Um, you know, when people see the real benefit of what it is that you have to offer, then they're going to be engaged in buying. If there's a discount at some point in time, awesome, but you don't want all your focus to be on the money on the sell. It's a lot worse for us in this industry to follow that bandwagon. Okay. On the flip side of that, as you guys that are buying Black Friday specials, oh, awesome. I can get that pair of pants or jeans or something or other for a discount. Awesome. So from a, you know, a buying perspective, it, it can be good. And for some companies, it can, you know, they have a lot of sales around it. But we're in a very different business model. We want to protect our company. We want to protect the name of the company and focus on the value of what it is that you have. You want people to buy into the value and the benefits, not just a quick sale because it doesn't build you a long-lasting, stable business. 
okay? What I do recommend people do with things like Black Friday specials and whatever, put all of that stuff in, pr in front of existing customers. From a marketing perspective, I don't know how much you guys know about marketing, but it's much easier for somebody who's an existing company, uh, existing company, <laughs> get it out, Helen, existing customer to buy again on a sale than get a new person to buy. So Black Friday specials are awesome and work really well to put in front of people that are already existing customers. You guys would all be on a million databases where you're getting emailed special after special after special after special for Black Friday. Am I wrong? I don't think so. And that's because you're already on an email list. Maybe you've already purchased something from that company. So you're already a customer. They're putting sales in front of you and you, you don't need to be convinced about what it is, who the company is or what they're selling because you're already a customer. So you're probably very likely to buy some stuff on Black Friday specials because it's cheaper and you love their, their stuff anyway. So really good strategy for those of you in this industry that already have customers and you've got a product that people can rebuy, then put these specials in front of those people because then it's not seen as, you know, spammy or it's all about the money. We just don't want in this industry for it to be seen all about the money. Okay, it's about the benefits, the value, the future, those kind of things. Okay, so strategies for you is to sell people on the transformation, sell people on the future of what it is that your product provides, sell people on the benefits of what it is that your product provides, not just, you know, the thing and discounting the thing. Nobody cares about the thing. They care about what the thing does. So in your marketing, in your messages, in your posts, whatever you put in, maybe Facebook stories, have a message behind it where you're selling the future, you're selling the transformation, and that's where people can buy in to the discount or the sale because there's a deeper meaning behind it. Okay, I hope you're following along with me here because it's, it's really important that we don't cheapen our industry more than it's already perceived to be, okay? Um, I would also encourage you to sell the value of you. What have you got to bring to the table as to why this might be a good promotion? Um, what extra bonuses can you offer to entice people to buy into this future thing, or this transformation, okay? So sell yourself and, what you know, what added things can you add in this industry? Because when you're a distributor, ambassador, business owner for somebody else, you're all selling the same stuff, guys. What you sell and what the next person sells in the company is the same product. So what makes you stand out? Why should somebody buy from you and not the other person if you're all selling the exact same thing? What makes you stand out? What makes you promote something more and somebody goes, oh, I'll do that because Helen's offering more. So have a think about that. What is it that you can bring to the table to make you stand out in your company more than anybody else? So think of those kind of things as well. Building up curiosity, intrigue and those kind of things, especially if you're dabbling on a personal profile. Be careful, guys. It's against Facebook policy to push any kind of business on a personal profile. But if you create curiosity and intrigue, that's okay. So do that around Black Friday if you've got products and things to offer. Absolutely create curiosity and intrigue. Just don't slap up blatant specials about products that people know nothing about. Um, it's it's just a short-term fix. It's not going to build you a long-term viable business, okay? Um, uh, yeah, and my last point there, sorry, I didn't even interpret my note, what I, what I was saying on my notes, is that when you lead up to something like Black Friday and this is something to offer or, you know, Christmas time is coming up, there might be more specials and things that, you know, your company comes out with. It's not about that point in time. It's leading up the value to. So it's about you guys building a brand and building no like and trust, likability on social media. So when you do put something in front of some people the right way, they're, they're happy to indulge. They're happy to buy because they trust you. So the other thing about sales and mass, you know, promotions like Black Friday and Christmas time and stuff like that is have you done the hard yards beforehand? OK, so this is all about even those of you that don't have products that you would promote on Black Friday. This is about you building value, trust, 
likability, um, you know, influence on social media, that when you do want to turn around and promote your business at any time of the year and give a call to action for somebody to check your business out or whatever it is that you've got to offer, they're not so sceptical about it because majority of the time you're on social media, you've been leading with value and awesome information. So does that make sense to you guys that are not even in Black Friday or not relevant to Black Friday or don't have like health and wellness products and stuff like that? It's about what you do prior to promoting your business at any time of year. It's the value that you bring. It's the entertainment that you bring. It's doing Facebook Lives. It's about building influence on social media before you ask for the sale before you ask somebody to put their hand in their pocket. It's about you guys gaining credibility, authority, respect, and influence on social media, okay? That's the bigger picture you need to come from. Don't get caught up with, you know, the biggest mistake that network, network marketers make is I can make some quick cash or I can get some quick points so I can rank advance. There's definitely an opportunity there, but just be very careful which angle you guys come from, especially if you put it out to people that are not fami that familiar with your products. They're just looking at price. And if they really don't know the benefits of what it is that you're offering or the products you've got on the table, then it's just purely coming from a money angle. And we don't want to do that in this industry. It works in other industries. It works when you're already on an email database for something that you've already bought off a bricks and mortar business of some kind. Like it works very well Black Friday. Not such a good strategy in our industry just to focus on the price. Okay. When people see the value, they will buy anyway. When there's value and there's benefits and people can see the future of what your thing provides, whether it's losing weight or good skin or jewellery or travel or whatever it is that you're into or more income at the end of the day to pay their bills or go on holidays or look after their family or retire, you know, your husband or your wife from, you know, the nine to five. Like when people see that vision and that future, that's what they're buying into. So just be really mindful of what you're concentrating on when you're portraying your business, you know, out there on social media. We just don't want to be seen to be taking the quick sale because it doesn't last long, okay? I hope that makes sense to you guys. So let me know, are you following along there? Something that I would um, would encourage you to, to do is um, learn more about attracting people to you on social media, um, you know, engaging and, um, you know, interacting with people on social media and, you know, becoming an influencer and, you know, learning how to build a big team on social media. And that's exactly what Whit and Kerry were talking about yesterday that I had live on with me. If you missed that interview, then certainly, um, you know, go back to yesterday's video and have a look and listen to what they had to say about attracting people, engaging in interaction and building influence on social media. So people will put their hand in their pocket and not have any uh, skepticism about what it is that you do. There's a whole journey we need to take on social media before we start marketing to people, before you start doing Facebook advertising, before you start throwing sales in front of people that don't really mean anything to them other than it's a cheaper price. There's a whole journey we need to take on social media before we start promoting, engaging and advertising to people. That's exactly what Wit and Kerry are going through in their training on Black Friday. And just take this for an example. You notice that this is a Black Friday promotion, Wit and Kerry's training. And I've been talking about this because I believe in the training. I follow the same strategies in. I just hit another milestone in my network marketing company yesterday. And it's all because of these strategies. Um, so I know what they're teaching and I believe in it because I'm using the same strategies. But And this is a Black Friday promotion. But the angle I come from is I believe this training will benefit you. I'm not talking even about price. It's, it is a discounted training. You won't be able to get it at the price that it is after Black Friday. Like it is a discounted, but I'm not focusing on the money. I'm focusing on what I believe will benefit you in your business. And that's, um, you know, that's not a strategy. That's just the, the way that it is. Like that's how you should think about promotions for Black Friday. Like if it's going to benefit somebody, talk about what they're going to get out of it. Like if you want to learn to be an influencer on social media and you um, you, you want to grow a large team on social media, Whitten Carey's training will help you. So just take that for an example. It's not price-based. 
it, you know, that's, that one's raising money for charity. So it's not the cheapest thing, but it is going to be more expensive after Black Friday. So it's the same strategies everyone else is using as far as a discounted thing for Black Friday, but it's a totally different angle. That's what you where you sort of want to come from, okay? And just on that, there's a there's what three or four more hours before you get the special the special uh, bonus that was announced yesterday goes away. So if you get that training um, before midnight tonight Eastern Standard Time, you go into the draw to get your own personalised social media plan from Wit and Carey. Fernie Sabas, who's earned over 20 million um, online, and Kate McShay, who's an eight-figure um, earner online as well. So they will work out a personalised social media plan for you and your business. So to go into the draw for that, you need to register for Whit and Kerry's training before midnight Eastern Standard Time tonight. The link for that um, is above if you want to get in on that. Anybody that's already got it, don't stress, you're already in the draw. So you guys are already in the draw. And also remember, for anybody that gets that training, I'm offering my own bonuses. So you've got the opportunity, first prize is to win a lifetime free lifetime membership to my coaching community is prize number one. Prize number two is a 45-minute coaching call with me and one month access into my coaching community. And the third prize is one month at free access into my coaching community. Anybody that's already in my coaching community that wins, I will work out something with you like a coaching call or something to make sure that you guys don't miss out that are already in, okay? So that's all on the table for you. So awesome things are available to you for Black Friday, but it's about the benefit of um, you know what you purchase on Black Friday, and I do believe that training will be something that will be very awesome for you guys and your business. But if you want those extra bonuses or be in the running for them, you've got to get it before midnight tonight. Okay. Um, we get sold to without even knowing. That 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 is the beauty about those of you that really learn to build on social media the right way. You will find that you buy things and you don't even realise you've been sold to because you just, you're just getting the benefits of, of why you're putting your hand in the pocket. So it, brilliant, Sean. Um, that's social media marketing done well. Hey, Laurie, getting on live while I'm checking out the grocery store. <laughs> Fair enough. Busy time, I imagine, for those of you like Thanksgiving. It must be a crazy time. Um, it's not an Australian thing, so I can't sort of share it with you, but I honestly... Those of you that do celebrate it, I just wish you all the the best and fun and lots of food and happiness and everything around Thanksgiving. Uh, social media marketing is way more than emails. Yeah, correct. Uh, benefit of the benefit of the benefit. Absolutely. Nailing it, Sean. I bought from Helen Martin because Lifetime is the best. I, is Matthew's just become a life member of my online crew coaching community. It is the, the best value for that. Um you know, so yeah, be your own brand. Absolutely. Uh, Tashi, thank you both. I can't like on. Not quite sure what you mean there, Tashi. If there's something that's unresolved, just send me a personal, uh, send me a message on my page and I'll see if I can help you with whatever's going on there. Uh, yes, following great advice. Rose, hi, Helen, coming in late. So I'll go back and catch the replay. No worries. Uh, makes total sense. Um, I hate all the Black Friday spam. It really, I mean, and I wouldn't get half of what you guys get, like in Australia, because we're a little bit immune to it because we don't celebrate it. It's not an Australian thing. But it's it's overwhelming, isn't it, Black Friday? I'm sure. And, like, I've seen vision and footage of people in the shops and what they do in Black Friday and the lengths that people go to to get the discount, like in the sales, in the department stores and stuff like that. People go crazy, on Black Friday, we have almost a similar thing. Um, you know, it's called box. You know, Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. A, a bit in Australia is like that, but yeah, Black Friday, people go, <laughs> people go crazy. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Um, you know, and we can't change that. The, the the sad part about it is it's just become a money making thing, and we just don't want to buy into that in our industry because it cheapens us. If you want people to really join you in your business, um, you know, as a business builder, perhaps, or buy products off you and get repeat purchases, so you might get a one-off sale. It's possible. But don't you want repeat buyers, people that love and see the value in your products on an ongoing basis and are in there for the long haul? So when we solely focus on price, 
it just cheapens everything. And, you know, as I said before, it does work well for big companies, big chains of companies, uh, you know, like that. But we are independent business owners for somebody else. It's not your business. Like if I made something, uh, I don't know, if I made toy cruise ships, which I don't, mind you, but let's say I made this, it was my creation and I put a sale up and I did Black Friday specials, it would make sense. It's mine to give. And if you're a customer of mine and you want more cruise ships, not sure why, but, you know, that all makes sense in the traditional business world. It really doesn't in our industry and it can do you a lot of damage. So I just want to plant that warning. Don't fall into a lot of the trap that a lot of network marketers do. You still want to focus on the future results, the benefits, what you can bring to the table that's extra. Tell the story of the actual product and it's a bonus that it's discounted. It's not the be all and end all that it's $20 cheaper than it normally is. Okay, it just it's it's a really bad look for our industry when we're already under fire and scrutiny for our business model in, you know, in the mainstream, which is, you know, disappointing. So we want to clean up our industry and come from the right place and get respect from people and really provide that value of our products rather than cheapening them just because it's a little bit cheaper at a different time of year. Okay. Okay, Jackie, stay away from the shops on Black Friday and, and Boxing Day. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you have Boxing Day. So bo Boxing Day is sort of, um, you know, around the traps. You, yeah, so I can understand with Boxing Day. But, you know, at the end of the day in this industry, we just want to be really careful, like I've explained in this video. Um, you know, and on the Black Friday, if you want to access Whit and Kerry's training, a lot of you already have, if you get in before midnight, tonight eastern standard time then you're going to go into the running to win that personalized social media plan from Whit and Kerry, Fernie and Kate for you and your business now that's incredible and don't forget I'm offering lifetime membership to my community free coaching uh, you know monthly membership the first second and third prize so you go into all the running for that if you get access to this training please um you know trust me in that I only promote things that I've done myself like the magnetic sponsoring book, I had that book. I used the strategies in the book. Wit and Kerry's training, I'm using the same strategies as they're going to be teaching you. And I know they work. I just rank advanced again, which is what I told you. Like great things are going on in all facets of my business, but it's because I've learned about attraction marketing, how to attract people to me, how to engage and interact, and then promote. We don't want to promote first. Those of you that are doing Facebook advertising, you don't want to start doing Facebook advertising unless you've got your brand sorted out and you, you're building a following and attracting people to you. It's just kind of the wrong way around. Or do it at the same time but have a great level of awareness of advertising skills and building your brand and not just advertise without having a brand or a presence or a business page or engaging or doing Facebook lives and all those kind of things. It's so backwards for your business. And you're going, well, no. I was just about to say you're going to fail, but I, sh I shouldn't say that. Um, people can do it, but you're going to have a lot more success quicker if you do it the right way around, which is what we're Witt and Kerry are teaching the right way around. Attract, engage, and then promote, okay? And they're going to go through strategies on a personal profile as well as a business page, so they're going to cover both, okay? So the link to that is above if you think that will be of benefit to you. Okay, such a great way to look at it. Thanks for that. So I'm glad that was helpful, Susan. So thank you for joining me live, guys. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. Um, absolutely just so appreciative of our community here. You've got no idea. So I look forward to seeing you guys same time, same place tomorrow. Bye, guys.